Namaste Capricorn, so grateful you're here. Giving you a quick reading for the rest of July. Uh, during channeling for you today, um, you know, I got this weird feeling that you were missing something that uh, has not even come into your life yet. Almost like you were in the future. Something is begging you to take action right now. I feel like you have momentum in your favor right now. I also got, we are going to find out, but you already know. So my feelings are a lot of you are manifesting right now. Uh, trying to raise your vibe to that future version of yourself so that you can attract whatever you are manifesting right now. So it's pretty exciting. Also for some of you, um, your exes might be missing you right now. Uh, this might be vice versa. Maybe you are missing your ex at the moment. Universe is asking you to just remember why they are an ex. Some of you might just be thinking of the good things or some of you might even just be thinking of the bad things that have happened. Just remember accurately and know that you are where you are at right now uh, for a good reason. Let's just see what your cards have to say for you. This is a general reading so just take what resonates with you. Alright, I feel like you have your boundaries up right now uh, when it comes to uh, clarity in your ideas and your thoughts, but there's a lot of optimism in your future here. You've been very patient with yourself um, in your growth. You are resilient, you are persistent. I feel like it's um, taking a lot in you to uh, find that inner courage, that strength inside you to uh, gain clarity in your thoughts right now. Uh, very optimistic about the future. I feel like you are very attractive right now. You are attracting abundance into your life right now. You are magnetically drawing love, creativity into your life right now. Uh, I feel like you are also healing at this time. Uh, your challenge is uh, leaving the past behind, leaving a past relationship. This might have been a very close connection uh, to you, uh, almost like a soul connection. There's a need to release all negative thoughts, feelings, and uh, people that no longer serve you so you can transform into the better version of yourself. I feel like you're very focused on expansion and growth right now when it comes to your ideas, your creativity, expanding your circle of people. There's a need to maybe even get out of your comfort zone as you grow. There's a lot of healing going on that has to do with your past. This could have been a marriage. Um, certain situation that brought a lot of anxiety into your life. Uh, but I feel that uh, whatever huge change it was in your life, I feel like you're um, very hopeful for the future. I feel like you're going to be creating uh, new and better memories here. Yeah, universe wants you to take that leap of faith into this new future that is in front of you. You're very indecisive about how to go about that right now. All about trusting yourself, trusting your intuition. Know that you have done the healing work and that uh, you have been very patient with yourself and it's okay to take it slow and steady. Yeah, I feel like there was a very huge change in your life that has happened. Um, almost like things were crumbling down. I feel like it happened very quickly. And if it's 
hasn't happened, you're probably in the middle of it or it is going to happen and it is needed for uh, you to find this new chapter in your life. Yeah, this thing you're holding on to might have been a past relationship. Uh, for some of you, once you do your healing journey, you will have an opportunity for a new relationship to come in. Uh, this person could be very not your type, but um, it, it seems to be a very huge connection here. You're getting the Two of Cups. Uh, you definitely have a relationship coming your way. And you're also getting celebrations, the Four of Wands. Uh, this could be a huge connection. This could be someone you want to even marry. I think you both see each other as a star, and I feel like you both have kind of gone through the same healing process. Oh man, right underneath that you have the Lover's card, so this is definitely a huge connection coming into your life. Um, something that could change the course of your life. I feel like you'll be uh, messaging each other um, via text message. Uh, you might be a little indecisive only because of your past experiences. <clears throat> um, but I also feel that you will be using your past knowledge, your wisdom from your past relationships to move forward in a proper way when it comes to this new relationship coming into your life. Uh, this huge change in your past, whatever it was needed to happen, for you to receive this new um, opportunity coming towards you. So this could be this offer of love uh, from this new partnership coming into your life. Otherwise, this could just be an offer from work. Uh, they might be seeing something in you right now. They see your value. They see that you have done the inner work. And they see a lot of potential in you. Uh, some of you might be holding on very tightly when it comes to your finances or just trying to be grounded in your life or trying to find that security in your life, uh, trying to be stable in your career right now. There is a need to uh, take a step back, you know, relax. You might be overworked right now, maybe working long hours. Um, there's a need to reflect, pause, and... Um, Take a deep breath every once in a while. You might be moving a little too quickly with your uh, thoughts, your actions right now. So there's a need to slow down as well. Yeah, definitely learn more about what you are trying to manifest. This is the beginning, the beginning of manifestation that you are um, being offered right now. There was definitely an ending that happened. Uh, you're learning lessons from your past and you are using those lessons to guide you in this new chapter in your life. I feel like a lot of you are coming to the spiritual awakening. You're rising up and um, realizing things about that heartbreak, that disappointment, that pain from your past. Uh, but I see you definitely... Uh, bringing structure into your life, coming back to your power, and also uh, finding that true happiness that you deserve. All right, quick message from the universe. You're getting it's time to take action. So whatever uh, the universe has been begging you to do, whatever your intuition has been begging you to do, I feel like this is been for a while now it is now time to take action you're also getting um, show the world the real you and a time for healing so I'll take it slow and steady with the healing and then uh, show the world the real you the true powerful version of yourself. But there's a need to release all expectations about your future and something very important about next month. 
So your manifestations might be coming to fruition next month. Uh, some of you might have been manifesting since June. I uh, trust that it will happen when the time is right. So yeah, just let it happen organically. One more card for you. All right, so for your last card, you're getting a tall tale. This represents denial, concealing the truth so you can manipulate and control a situation. Uh, this could be your ex trying to manipulate you. Uh, there's also fear-based communication. I'd say today, ask for the truth. Be willing to pay the price and be okay with the vulnerability your lie is exposing in yourself and others. Transparency is required to get to where you need to go to be truly empowered, to reveal the strength of what is true and authentic. Any other path leads to a dead end. Remember the saying, the truth will set you free and get ready to fly unfettered. Bottom of the deck, you're getting Storyteller. This is identity, positive self-definition, teaching others how to treat you through the stories you tell about who you are. What if you could connect to your true power as a co-creator of your reality? Uh, the story originates in your mind, how you think, your conditions, and past experiences. How you view the world and what you expect to see in it. The truth is, you have everything you need to tell a new tale and weave more blessings into the world as your unique contribution. In fact, practice speaking of your amazing success, your overflowing abundance, and all the love that surrounds you. Soon the outer world will tell the same story back to you. It's all about manifesting. Sweet. All right, well, that's what I have for you today. Hope all is well. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if it resonated with you. And I will see you all soon. Namaste.